I felt like it was time after about a year and a half, two years of starting Goon Climbers to really give you guys a look inside the beginning of this whole movement and kind of a little bit about me and what Goon Climbers is, just really what it what it means to hill climb for us. Maybe you can relate to that and you know join us on this hill climb movement. All right, so if you didn't know by now, my name is Keegan and I started Goon Climbers in the fall of 2022, but we've been posting some gnarly hill climb content, some tips and tricks here and there to help you guys get better at hill climbing, but I feel like a vast majority of you guys really don't know um, the beginning of Goon Climbers and how everything started for me and meeting all these really good hill climbers across the country. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you my experience with dirt biking and hill climbing and just the whole goon climber story. So dirt biking started for me at five years old and I was put on an XR50 by my dad and I really got into dirt biking and I started to love it. It was really fun for me because I just had the freedom to just ride wherever I wanted to ride and just use my imagination and go all over the place. I went through several dirt bikes growing up from five years old till about uh, 14. I went through a couple XR80s, a couple XR100s, and then dad got me a, a YZ80 and I was a little bit scared of the two strokes at first. So I went back to a four stroke being an XR100 and then after the XR100, I got a KX100. To go riding from our house here in Kentucky, we'd have to ride for about 20 to 25 miles to get to the riding spot. And some of it was a little bit of blacktop, some of it was rock roads. We had to climb pipeline hills to get to the actual dirt bike riding or where everybody would usually trailer in and we would ride from our house. I was extremely scared of hill climbs. Like, I would get to the point where my stomach and my chest would just get all knotted up the night before about having to climb these hills just to get to the riding spot. My nerves and anxiety was through the roof when we got closer to the hills and whenever we got to the hill, I just looked at it and almost wanted to throw up. That's how bad my fear of hill climbing was at the time. We had to hit these hills to get to the riding spot. With all the fear and anxiety, for the first couple years, I never made it up a single hill. I, I would go up it as far as I could, wreck, fall over, wait for dad to come get me, wait for somebody to help me, and I really just had a big fear of really getting stuck on the hill and not knowing what to do because going back down is extremely scary when you don't know how to do it. That was my case. I didn't know what to do on a hill. I didn't know how to hit the hill. I didn't know how to come off the hill. And it took me a very long time to get to the point that I am now and what you guys see videos of traveling across the country and hill climbing and hitting these huge walls. It wasn't always like that. We didn't, none of us started out um, just hitting stuff like that. It takes a lot of practice and a lot of uh, mental learning to get over the fear of hitting hills. And once you get over that aspect, it's just like riding on flat ground at this point. From five years old to 14, I'm riding these different bikes, two stroke and four stroke, and really just hitting the hills but because I have to hit the hills to get to the riding spots. And about 15, 16 years old, dad got me a CR125, which is actually this bike. And I had it for about five years. When I, when I got this bike, that's when everything kind of changed for me. I started hitting hills because I enjoyed it. I started hitting hills because the feeling when you get to the top of a hill climb um, after working so hard to get up that hill is like nothing else. It being a 125 you have to have it wide open and just use the clutch. So five years of riding this hardcore got me really good at hill climbing and really just kind of evaporated that fear of going up the hills or not making it. I spent a lot of time just hitting hill over and over and over again and not making it allowed me to get really good at taking the dirt bike back down the hill. Right about 20 years old, I got a YZ250F 2016 model and I put my first set of extensions on it. And I noticed that extensions allow you to be able to use your imagination a lot more because there is a limit to what stock length hill climbing can do. Yes, you can do a lot with it. There's probably people who are better than me that can go up some insane stuff stock length. But I'd got to the point where I was just getting frustrated with stock length. I'd been climbing it for so long and I just knew what I could do and what I couldn't do on certain days and conditions. I was able to just ride and use my imagination and go wherever I wanted. So the skills that I had developed over the years of getting off of hills, hitting hills, 
using my clutch, using my brakes to get down the hill safely, allowed me to just really step up the game a lot with these extensions. So I rode that for a little bit, but I decided I needed more power, so I went with a 2016 YZ450F. When I got this bike, I realized that where I was riding at wasn't fulfilling me when I got to the top of the hills because they weren't either big enough, they weren't steep enough, they weren't long enough. So I started to look for other hill climbers on the internet, different outlets like YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. Met a bunch of people on this page called Hill Climb Ohio. It's ran by my buddy Luke, and he's a really good quad hill climber, a full-wheeler hill climber. Climber. And I met up with these guys on a ride in Ohio. They were going up some pretty insane stuff. And it kind of blew my mind because a lot of these guys were on four wheelers and stretched dirt bikes going up stuff that I couldn't even fathom. Like, it just doesn't make sense what these guys were going up when I went to Ohio. At that point in time, I found my group of people doing that since 2020. So it's been four years now riding with a lot of hill climbers from Ohio, Pennsylvania, Florida. After about a year of climbing with Hill Climb Ohio and different guys from those areas, um, me, Otis, and Devin were climbing a lot together and we decided one day out of the blue, Let's let's check out some of the hills out west. And some of the hills that we had seen on social media out west were pretty huge and gnarly hill climbs. We'd seen videos on YouTube and we'd go through the comment section and look for the places and try to figure out where they were. It was July of 2021 and me, Otis, and Devin decided to just take our trucks and drive 24 hours out into the middle of nowhere. I was on a new KTM 350 that I purchased for hill climbing with extensions. Adam was on a Husqvarna 450 stretched and Devin was on his Cowie 450 stretched. You know, it was a long 24 hours getting out there. We were going 120 at night. We had a radar with us and we was just trying to get there because none of us had ever drove that far across the country just to hill climb. You know, we had no contacts, no information. We just knew there were big hills out there and we wanted to hit them. After driving about 24 hours and a bunch of truck stops and, and naps later, we pull up and there were these insane hills. And that first evening we decided to just try to hit as much stuff as we could. Long story short, we ended up getting lost in the desert at night trying to find our way back with one, he one, one set of headlights. So it was a pretty wild experience for the first trip going out west in the beginning. We hit a couple more spots on that trip, meeting a lot more people. To this day, a lot of those guys are still our good buddies and we hill climb with them every year when we do these trips. After that initial trip out west, it kind of turned a gear in our heads. There was a lot more out there than where you currently ride. So if you love to hill climb, highly recommend traveling and riding and hill climbing. And that, that was the case for us. We entered into a whole new skill level by just going somewhere else and riding, like out west, allowed us to meet so many new people, make so many friends that are in the hill climb scene and make these connections. Hill climbing for us is so much more than just pinning it and hitting a hill. The feeling you get whenever you make a big giant hill or something you've been struggling with, compare the hill to your life. To get to the top, you have to go through a lot of struggles, trials, and conflicts. So whenever we're hitting these hills, if we don't make it, it's kind of like you're fighting a battle. You're fighting a battle within yourself. Whenever you make that hill, the feeling you get is like no other. It's hard to explain, whenever, especially whenever you make a hill that nobody's ever made or a hill that you and your buddies can't make. That feeling is just, just out of this world. You don't have to go out and hit the gnarliest hills. Just go out there and slowly get better at hill climbing and whenever you make these little wins, like getting to the top of a hill, that feeling, that dopamine that you get is natural and it's pure. The more you do it, the better you get at it and the more that feeling is revived in you when you get to the top of a hill. That's why we free ride hill climb because we can use our imaginations and ride these big giant mountains. And when you get to the top, it feels like you just won the lottery. Try hill climbing put on some extensions and go up some stuff you've never even imagined before and it'll give you a different perspective on hill climbing because you'll be able to go up a lot more and you'll be able to use your imagination more. Anybody who loves hill climbing or loves dirt biking is just throw on some set of extensions and just go hit stuff. And I believe that every dirt biker should experience free ride hill climb because the feelings you get hill climbing with your buddies out in the middle of nowhere and just hitting these wide open hills, it's hard to beat that and it's just, genuine fun and you get that natural dopamine hit whenever you're just riding with your buddies, no competition, and getting to the top of these huge hills. And I totally understand what it's like to be scared to hit hills. I understand what it's like to have that gut-wrenching feeling when you're hitting hills and I completely understand that you don't want to wreck or get hurt. But the only way to get better hill climbing and the only way to continue that feeling of joy when you're hitting these hills 
is to keep doing it, learn how to hit these hills safe the right way and use your body and bike and the traction to get where you want to be. And then also not making it up the hill is a big fear, but knowing how to get down alleviates any fears that you have of hill climbing. Being able to hill climb allows you to go to any riding spot in the country and go wherever you want. You can pull up to any riding spot, any park, any off-road resort, and that allows you to have the freedom to do whatever you want. You're not held back by not being able to hit a hill, and it opens up your freedom and ability to just hit everything and ride anywhere. If you have an understanding of how to hit hills, if you have an understanding of what to do when you don't make it up hills and how to get back down, and you have a set of extensions, you can go ride anywhere you want and hit anything. And it's one of the most amazing free feelings that I've ever experienced in my life, and that's what keeps me riding and hill climbing every weekend is knowing that I'm gonna get that feeling of joy and freedom again when I go hit hills with my extended dirt bike and just using my imagination to hit everything. Now, if you have any comments or questions about the Goon Climbers or if you want to join the Goon Climbers and just this hill climb movement, drop your comment below, hit us up, email us, just let us know, you know, you want to be part of this movement and we can help you set your dirt bike up, get extensions and just get out there free riding and just going anywhere you want. Listen, this is a little reminder. If you're not hill climbing extended, you're selling yourself short.